Tower 1 here to show you how to dynamically resize the capacity of a vector at runtime. Or dynamically reserve new spaces for each element at runtime. Because using the reserve function, or you're technically resizing or reserving, resizing the vector at runtime using the reserve function. You're not adding elements to the vector, you're just resizing the amount of spaces that the vector holds that allow you to enter elements into the into the vector without going over its its uh, capacity and the capacity is the amount of elements that the vector holds or the vector can hold and the size is the amount of elements within the vector so I'll show you right now what I mean so I'm going to declare uh, the condition of the do while loops parameter which is here at this do while loop and here's I'm comparing the number size is equal to the vector capacity if it's less than the vector's capacity then you enter two numbers and now the capacity is equal to four because using this if step if check checking to see if num size is equal to the vector capacity and then I reserve the numbers capacity or capacity and multiply that by two so now you, instead you have four spaces instead of two. So now since the capacity of that vector has doubled, and now instead of four, now it's eight. The capacity of the vector is eight using the reserve function in this do while loop. It's an infinite loop. So if I enter one, two, three, four, number four more numbers into the vector and reach that threshold of eight now the capacity will be 16 and the size will be eight and I'm printing out the variables using this function called cap size I'm passing in the vector as a parameter and I'm checking to see if the vectors and then what I'm doing I'm printing out the vectors capacity and printing out the size of the vector Here I'm declaring the do while loop, the do while loops condition here at runtime, and then I'm checking to see if the number size is equal to the vector capacity, and then I'm reserving new spaces for the ve for the vector's capacity. I'm doubling the capacity of the vector by using the function reserve, or the amount of elements that the vector can store. I'm not using the function resize because I believe what, what you want is you want to add more spaces to the vector without adding additional elements. Because if I were to use the function resize, it would add zeros by default to the vector's capacity. And I don't believe you want that. I, want, I believe you want to resize, resize the, uh, the vector, then enter your own elements dynamically into the vector. So reserve will, will, will open more spaces for the vector and then you enter new elements into each space into each slot. And I just want to show you how to do this because I believe that it's it's a good way of doubling the size of the vector or the or the capacity of the vector or how many elements the vector can hold as opposed to using the resize function that will automatically input new elements into each space and uh, that'll be it for this video uh, thank you for your time have a good one